and I'm Marsha Rothwell and we are two, two grannies, grannies on, on the road. road. By the way, I'm the younger granny. But I'm the wiser one. Ah, uh, well that remains to be seen. Nah, nah. <laughs> Why did you pick the Country Roads Tour? Well, we love supporting local businesses. Um, and so this was a great way for us to, we found out about it through social media, I think. And I thought, you know what, this is a great way to encourage people uh, to shop locally. And we have a lot of followers. We thought, hey, this would be something fun for them to do. And um, if they come and shop and give some business to these local places, that'll be great for the businesses. It'll be great for people because they'll find awesome, unique gifts to give for Christmas or the holidays, um, so that's why we decided And we to might buy. need to buy something for ourselves. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and so it, it was a little bit of a challenge. We're going to do all 19 places in three days, and we're going to do it. Ready, set, go. go. Soft. Yeah. Oh, I think. Do I want purple? Of course you want purple. You know what? I want fingerless. So they can be fingerless. in Hubbardston. And look who's joining us. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to enjoy the, the weekend. They have a great shop here that has all kinds of alpaca products. Um, alpaca products are hypoallergenic, so if anybody's allergic to wool, they can get alpaca mittens and hats and all kinds of stuff. They have great stuff here. They have stuffed animals and you can come and um, pet the alpacas and the llamas and it's a great stop on the country roads tour so come on by so beth tell everybody how you started this crazy thing we're doing well it started way back in 2010 and i had been in business for myself for about eight years hadn't had a vacation and i started feeling sorry for myself because i you know, had never gone across country in an RV with my kids the way I wanted to. And then I thought, well, wait, I can do my job from anywhere. I can do web design from anywhere. And, you know, how could I, you know, work and play at the same time? And, um, you know, I could do that. And then I was single at the time, so I thought, well, I wouldn't want to travel alone. Who could I go with? And then I thought of my friend Ginny, who was a graphic designer. She could work from anywhere. She's a lot of fun. She's adventurous. Two grannies on the road! <laughs> So, and we said, you know what? Travel in your own state is still travel. Let's visit every city and town in Massachusetts. Yeah, I mean, we've been in the Athol to Orange River Rat Race. We've done uh, sled like, dog sledding. A little boxing. <laughs> we've um, made, we've made, made donuts. donuts. Yes. Cider donuts. So we, but we like doing our show because... Um, uh, People like seeing the towns that are near them and, and like finding that there's a place they can go that's less than an hour away and they can have an adventure and try some new food and, you know, some local shopping and have fun. And we, we like sharing those things with everybody. Um, but we also want to encourage people to pursue their dreams because it's never too late. And that's what we're doing. We're pursuing our dream of traveling and having adventures. Yes. Go shop and you get stamps in a place, then you get entered into a raffle. If you get all 19 stamps, 
get into a raffle, you might win a $950 in gift certificates. $50 from each shop. Oh, where are we, Beth? <laughs> Why are you always asking me? Because you're the Are you one lost? Always lost, always lost. We're at a time and a place in Hubbardston. Cute little shop. It is. It's got all sorts of unique little things. It has gnomes. Yeah, a lot of gnomes. A lot of gnomes, a lot of sayings. A little sarcasm sometimes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but cute. And a very lots of Christmas things out. So you need to come here and see what you can find because it's very unique. Yeah, great stuff. On to the next Thanks. one. Hey, Beth. Where are we this time? I don't know. Where are we? I think we're in Hubbardston. Are we in Hubbardston still? Yes. Last stop in Hubbardston at Giacomo's. They, it's gourmet food and they do a lot of catering. They have awesome baked goods. They have a bunch of stuff from other local vendors too that you can get, even things like mittens and honey and spices. Spices, yes. We're here with Lori Del Bino. Did I pronounce it correct? Del Darbino. No, Dar Garbino. Yes. And we are at our store. And tell us, how long have you been open? We have had our brick and mortar since 2017. And were you able to stay open during COVID? We were, which was very exciting. So what we ended up doing was pivoting really quickly. So we were able to stay open because we were a grocery store. So because we were a grocery store, that allowed us to keep our hours the same. So what we ended up doing is, like I said, pivot very quickly into aggressively doing a grab and go. So we were already doing it, but we ramped it up. Jim is the chef. So all of the recipes that are produced here are Jim's. So they're either made directly by Jim or they are family recipes from pretty much his grandmother. Yeah. A lot wow. of comfort food, a lot of that kind of um, yeah. dinners. Old classics. Yes. Classics. Osaka, um, what you would call, uh, what is it called? Um, American, American chop suey. suey. Right. <laughs> like I said, have, a lot of those re no, a lot yeah, of the recipes are very comfort food or very family oriented. We do a really great chicken dish, which is uh, Jim's grandmother's. Mm -hmm. So when they were growing up, they would go to her grand, go to his grandmother's, and have that. It was next door. Yes. <laughs> oh, that far. Yeah. So yeah, so we do a lot of comfort food. Um, and then we do a ton of catering as well. Oh, you do? So you're we a caterer. We absolutely do, yes. yes. We do all kinds of catering throughout the year. And what did we get? And we got soup. And I got mushroom and... Risotto? Banana. Yeah. And what? And you got... I got a lentil soup with uh, sausage, I think. I it, think it said yes. sausage. I heard yes. that. Yes, yes. So we're going to go eat it in a few minutes. Yeah, and you know, it's not an indoor restaurant, so we're going to eat in the car. But uh, we know their food is excellent. We do, because so gonna... we've tasted it before. What do you have there, Beth? It doesn't look like there's much left. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lentil soup with sausage. And it's got, you've got a nice spice from the sausage. Yeah. What, mm -hmm. you, what you got? I've got mushrooms and uh, rice. And what else is in here? It's very good. Would you like a bite? And okay. how is it? It's excellent. Thank you. Marsha, where are we? Dandelions. Don't you see the pretty flowers everywhere? <laughs> this is a really nice little shop. Yeah, it's a beautiful shop. It's got all sorts of unique things. Jewelry, pottery. And even things made out of tumbleweed. I've never heard of it before. Earrings, it's right? Earrings, earrings and a keychain and necklace. Wow. Uh, and, and they dye. It's really quite a process. I read a little bit about it. And they have local soaps and lotions. She does all natural stuff, tries to get as much local as possible. You know, even the chocolates are made by smaller artisans. And lots of different types of earrings, which I, of course, love earrings, so I'm drawn to them. 
they have any mismatched, that's what you like. Uh, well, I like, yeah, if I could buy one. But you know what else? What about your birch wood glass over birch there? Birch wood glasses, yeah. Because yeah. somebody has a name like that, oh, really? like for a... Uh, birch wood web design? design? Yeah. Maybe. Come by and see this cute little Let's shop try. on the Country Roads Birds Tour. Tour. Enjoy. Beth, where are we? <laughs> I let you do that, you know. <laughs> we're, at, we're at Sheldon Farm Baskets in Barrie. And this woman makes the greatest baskets. They're just all shapes and sizes. They're beautiful. They're very reasonably priced. De definitely. Right? They a lot are. of them have Christmas themes, but a lot of them can be used all year long. They can. They are. Let me just show you a couple. I'm trying to make a decision. Look at these. See, she has somebody that does a beautiful little painting on them, and you can take it off if you choose to. Mm -hmm. And here's another one. Very and nice. So it would be nice to just hang it up. So... I'm making a decision. Which, Which one, one should she get? Yeah, could you please vote on this? <laughs> and then what's in the other room? Oh, they have soaps that are made out of... Beeswax? That, be, no, there's beeswax. And there are... What are the soaps? I'm not sure what the other ones are made of. But they've got both, the beeswax. The Christmas decorations, very cute. In fact, I just happen to have one. Oh, that's right, yeah. Thing. I don't know if you can see that well or not. It's like a little stocking. Yes, yeah, a little stocking. So and these uh, ornaments. ornaments. Yes, they're adorable. So please come and check them out. You know when you have Christmas cards? Yeah. Oh. So anyway, so they're um, stained with thin wax that has polyurethane in it, so that um, the baskets are waterproof. Oh, they're waterproof. They could oh. outside because the Minmax protects it. Oh, that's really neat. Yeah. Oh, I like uh, that. Marcia, where are we? I don't know. Are we at the Hartman's Herb Farm? Yeah, I think we are. Did you know that there was all sorts of things going on at this farm? I didn't until ten minutes ago. <laughs> so tell me, what have you seen? <laughs> I've seen a whole. I've seen a wedding chapel, and um, that they built, and a whole function room. They have weddings and other functions here, as well as all the you know the shop here where they make wreaths. A lot of their business is wreath making. And they um, sell a lot of herbs and dried flowers. They grow a lot themselves. Um, it's, it's a really nice place. It's awesome. It smells good. I love it. It is. It's really interesting. You can get all sorts of things hanging and drying. It's, it's really very, really, it's very nice. Everybody needs to stop here and see all the creations that they've done. And I, you probably wouldn't know about it unless you did the country road tour, right? I, yeah, I don't know how you would. I know, it's on this little country road, just like the country <laughs> road, road tour. <laughs> Come and visit. Where are we? I <laughs> cheated. I did. We're at uh, Petersham Leather. No, I said that wrong. We're at Petersham Leather, and Sylvia has been doing leather art for... Since she was little, I think she yes. said. Hippie time. Her her purses and stuff are absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, they are. They're, they're very unique and different. And um, she's got a wide variety of them. And she's even got a few sandals, a few shoes I just looked at, fanny packs, different things. Cool. And she sells in a couple of shops, um, she said, in Cambridge, Mass., in Vermont. That's right. Yeah, so, but you can find her here, right on the Country Roads Trail, and you've got to come and check out her stuff. It's beautiful. It is. 
and spend some money. Sure. We didn't spend any today. <laughs> you lie. I know. <laughs>place is um, I know that it's it's like really bopping in the summer and during apple season you know it's Friday night now it's freezing out so there aren't as many people but this place has apple picking they have a huge store with all kinds of stuff a lot of it's you know homemade or uh, made locally they have fudge they have really good apple cider donuts all right these apple donut cider. red apple these Red Apple Farm apple cider donuts are kind wrapped, of well known. Wrapped very well. Really well. <laughs> yes. Here you go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I can't even cheers. Light. Really good cider flavor. They are. Lots of nice cinnamon sugar on the outside. Well, I even tummy. see cinnamon in there, I think. Mm. What are we doing next? Dinner, and they have even fire pits out here um, for the brave people that want to stay out here in the cold, which is not us. So we're going to go inside here, and we're going to have dinner. Because we're wicked smart. That's true. <laughs> yeah, so this is really the only place on the Country Roads Tour to have dinner. And so we're taking advantage tonight and doing that. So if you're out there, come and join us. This That's is a right. great place to eat. It's a, brew, it's a brewery now, right? I guess so. It's a brewery so. too, yeah. Oh, so We'll have to see what they're brewing. You have a limit. Oh. You know, there's always one in the crowd. <laughs> Okay, Country okay. Roads Tour, Red Apple Farm in Phillipston, Mass. Beth, where, where are we? <laughs> I think we're at a farm stand. Well, at, we're at Valcourt Maple Farm. In they what have town? In Petersham. Ah, I said it right this yeah, time. Get, yes, you did. They have over a thousand trees, maple trees really? that they tap. Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah, okay. and um, she makes wreaths, really pretty wreaths here. She's got Christmas for Christmas, of course. All kinds of maple syrup, which you know I love. Uh, it's a really cute little farm stand. So it's the first stop today on our Country Roads tour. That's true. I think we have seven or eight more to go. <laughs> And we're going to hopefully uh, go in the right direction. Yeah, I mean, it's a little tough with GPS yes. up here. So if you come up, be prepared with a map. map. That's yes. right. Please do. Yeah, I'm sorry. Old-fashioned map. Works. Sometimes it's just the way to go. <laughs> all right. All right. Come see us. Come visit us. Yes. Come visit them. Um, we'll be gone. Yeah. Come get some maple syrup. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is a fun Look, one. Yeah, it looks like, like an edible. <laughs>
Art Center. Peter Sam. Sam. Peter Sam. <laughs> Art Center. I can't take you anywhere. You better. Well, you are. <laughs> we saw a class. We did. This a class stitching. was really neat. neat. And it's kind of, you have to go look at it, see what we've posted later on, because it's got, it's a, everybody's is different. It's sewing, but you're doing a piece of art with the needle and thread and materials and trinkets. So really cool. It is. And this is a quite an interesting place. It's all local artists here, and it's got a wide variety from a watercolor, which is well done. And this area, they change every month to people that knit baby clothes, to woodwork. says do not touch how can you not i know i did already <laughs> and then i read the sign oh look at these oh i like these right. all the work that's in the in the the shop is from local artists area that's, artists that's and, wonderful um, oh saying. yes look at all this and look how you've got a, a gallery too and right the gallery oh, so pretty shows change fairly you know, oh. just cut every month. That's nice. Right now we have Sweet. Uh, Barry Van Dusen, who is a nature watercolorist. Most beautiful, beautiful Look at watercolors. That. Look at that. And, um, you know, we have an opening reception. That's nice. Oh, oh more of his work this. over there. Yeah. Barbara Ellis Gallery. Mm -hmm. So every time you come to the art center, you're, you're going to see things that you didn't see before, which is nice. That's nice. Yeah, that's, that's a great. nice. And we love the, you know, the holiday tour because uh, we, we new people find us. Yeah, I mean, we'll be back in this area because when we do every city in town, we spend the day in a town, and we talk to the historical society, and we visit all different, you know, businesses and you know, just farms and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. So with this tour. There's seven towns, and we've only done a show on one, which was Hubbardston. Mm -hmm. So we're going to come back up and do Petersham and Barrie and the other towns like a full day. Great. So now we've got Great. kind of a head start on yeah, it. We know at least we one, know. You know, two or three places in each town yep. that we can include in that show too, or come back and do more, like do a maybe part of a basket class with yeah, Sue. Yeah, I'd so. like to do it. There's just whatever you like. I'm sure you could find something here to appreciate. Yeah, and a beautiful gift shop, um, you really unique gifts for Christmas. So this is a great stop on the Country Roads Tour to come and explore, find out what they do. Maybe there's even a class that you'd like to take. I know Sue from the uh, Basket Farm, she does classes here. Um, I think Sylvia from Peter's Ham Leather, I think she does yes. classes, I think. And um, yeah, so it's a great place to come and explore anytime, but you know, try to stop by before the end of the Country Roads Tour, December 10th. You won't be disappointed. No, you won't.